हे गाइज माई नेम इज अदिति एंड माई टॉपिक इज फोर यर सीरीज नाउ वट इज फोर यर सीरीज एनी पीरियोडिक फंक्शन दैट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज द सम ऑफ साइन एंड को साइन इनफाइनाइट सीरीज इज कॉल्ड एज अ फोर यर सीरीज दिस इज इज जनरल इक्वेशन वेर ए नॉट ए एन एंड बी एन आर कॉल्ड एज द फोर यर को इफिशंस नाउ वॉट इज अ पीरियोडिक फंक्शन अ फंक्शन दैट रिपीट्स इज वैल्यू आफ्टर रेगुलर इंटरवल्स इज कॉल्ड एज अ पीरियोडिक फंक्शन एनी पीरियोडिक फंक्शन विच वी विश टू एक्सप्रेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फोर ईयर सीरीज शुड सेटिस्फाई सर्टन कंडीशन कॉल्ड एज डिरिचलिट्स कंडीशन दे आर एफ एक्स एंड इट्स इंटीग्रल्स आर फाइनाइट एंड सिंगल वैल्यूड एफ एक्स हैज डिसकंटिन्यूटीज दैट इज फाइनाइट एंड नंबर एफ एक्स हैज फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ मैक्सिम एंड मिनिम here are some basic trigonometric formulas which we must revise once again we must uh, revise all these formulas thoroughly because this is all the formulas we are going to use later on these are some specific integration results which we must keep in mind because each time integrating this is will be time consuming so it's better if we know the formula we can directly substitute it Let us see what is generalized rule of integration by parts. That is tabular integration. In tabular integration, we take first function as u, another and as v. Downwards we go on differentiating u until it becomes zero. Whereas for v, downwards we go on integrating v, and then we put alternate plus and minus sign, and then cross multiply it horizontally and add up till we get zero. So this is the equation. U V D X is equal to U V one minus U dash V two plus U double dash V three and go on. It is always uh, necessary to take a function that will end up in differentiating zero. Now, for example, let's take a uh, inti- integral x square cos x d x. Now, to solve this by tabular integration, as I said, we need to take u a function that will give you Give zero on differentiating. As you see, if I go on differentiating cos x, I will never get zero. So x square is my u, x square and cos x. Differentiating x square, I get two x. Differentiating two x, I get two. Differentiating two, I get zero. Here, integrating integration of cos x is sin x. Integration of sin x is minus cos x. integration of minus cos x integration of cos x is sin x with a negative sign here now we will multiply this slantly and put alternate plus minus sign so now this is our u dash this is u double dash this is u triple dash this is v1 v2 And V three. So our answer according to this formula is U V one U into V one. That is x square sin x with a positive sign. Then minus minus two x into minus cos x plus two into minus sin x minus zero into. It doesn't matter because it will be zero. So our answer is x square sin x plus two x cos x minus two sin x. As you can see, we got the answer of this integral very easily with the help of the tabular integration. These are some extra integration formulas which we must keep in mind. That integration of cos x and sin x over the period c to c plus two pi gives zero, whereas the Uh, product of cos and product of sin gives zero when m is e- not equal to n and pi is when m is equal to n similarly the integration of sin mx into cos nx is equal to zero for all m and n now here are some of the extra formulas wherein we just substitute the value of c is equal to minus pi everything is same only the limit changes from minus pi to pi Uh, moving forward to determination of Fourier coefficients, like finding the value of these a naught, a n, and b n. So f x is a periodic function which has a period two pi and which is represented in the interval c to c plus two pi, where I, as I said earlier, c is nothing but the point from which the function has started. f x is equal to zero. f x is equal to a naught plus summation of 
एन इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी ए एन कॉस एन एक्स प्लस समेशन ऑफ समेशन फ्रॉम एन इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी बी एन साइन एन एक्स दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ फोर ईयर सीरीज नाउ लेट्स नेम इट एज ए नाउ इंटीग्रेटिंग बोथ साइड्स बाई फ्रॉम सी टू सी प्लस टू पाई एज दिस इज आर इंटरवल एंड टू पाई इज अ पीरियड वट वी गेट इज we integrate this as you all know integration of cos nx from c to c plus 2 pi is zero similarly integration of sin nx from c to c plus 2 pi is zero so these two values become zero and ultimately a not is a constant so we take it outside then it becomes integration of dx that is x from c to c plus 2 pi so from that we get the value of a not as 1 by 2 pi integration of fx dx from c to c plus 2 pi similarly to find the value of an that is the coefficient of cos nx so we multiply this whole equation by cos nx and then integrate it now about finding an what we do is we multiply the fourier equation throughout by cos nx because an is the coefficient of cos nx and then integrate it so by multiplying the equation with cos nx and then integrating we get this a not into integration of cos nx from c to c plus 2 pi into integration of an into cos nx that is cos nx into cos nx which will become cos square nx dx plus integration of bn into sin nx cos nx dx so here the integration of cos nx over the period c to c plus 2 pi is zero so the here it is zero and cos nx and cos nx it is the property which we learned earlier that is it will be equal to pi if m is equal to n so here it comes an into pi and bn into sin nx into cos nx which is equal to zero so this term will also become zero so from here we get the value of an as 1 by pi integration of fx into cos nx dx from c to c plus 2 pi similarly for calculating bn as bn is the coefficient of sin term we multiply the whole fourier equation with sin nx and then integrate it when we integrate it the a not a not term and the an term becomes zero and the last term that is bn into sin x into sin x the formula we use here is sin mx into sin nx that is equal to pi well m means equal to n so as you can see there are two n's here the value of this becomes pi so this becomes 0 plus 0 plus bn into pi so from here we get the value of bn as 1 by pi integration of fx into sin nx dx from c to c plus 2 pi these are the three coefficients which we just derived now as i said earlier in fourier series there are two types of functions one having period 2 pi and another having period 2l so according to the period the value of the fourier coefficients changes let's first see functions having period 2l when we put c is equal to 0 that is the function starts from the origin the va the value of the fourier coefficient is e not is equal to 1 by 2l integration of fx dx from 0 to 2l an is 1 by l integration from 0 to 2l fx cos n pi x by l dx bn 1 by l 0 to 2l integration fx sin n pi x by l dx these are the formulas which we must by heart because when we substitute l is equal to pi here when the period is 2 pi all we get is all the, these three formulas so it is better to keep in mind these formulas and whenever we have a function having period 2 pi we can simply substitute l is equal to pi and get the answers now when c is equal to pi in the period of 2 pi the region the interval is 0 to 2 pi and this is the value of the fourier coefficients similarly for period having 2 l then when we put c is equal to minus pi the value of the fourier coefficients is almost same i mean formula wise all that changes is the integral sign the integral limits earlier it was 0 to 2 pi now it is minus pi to pi 
similarly for l earlier it was 0 to 2l now it is just minus l to l there are basically three types of functions even odd and neither even nor odd function f of minus x is equal to fx are the even functions the functions which give f of minus x is equal to minus fx are called as odd functions and the functions whose negative result is neither even nor odd are called as neither even nor odd functions talking about graphical symmetry most of the even functions are symmetric about y-axis whereas the odd functions are symmetric about the origin the example of even are x square and cos x as you know x uh, x square when you put negative it you will get x square and cos of minus is x is also here we have one important theorem which we must keep in mind that integration of minus a to a f x dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a f x dx if the function is even and 0 if the function is odd okay. i hope you like this video thank you mm -hmm.